Hi everybody, Jane here, and today I'm doing a review on To Stay Alive by Skeela Brown. And this is a book written in verse. It is a middle grade written in verse, and I'd gotten it as part of the middle grade March challenge to read a book written in verse. So this is my pick. And this is about the Donner Party. So if anybody doesn't know who the Donner Party is, they were a group of settlers who were trying to go to California and they got stuck in the Sierra Nevada and a, like almost half the party died. And one of the reasons they are so famous is because they, they ate each other. They, they ate their dead. Now there is a lot of historical contention about whether that really happened. I, my understanding as I did some research after reading this book is that archaeologists say there's not really evidence that they would expect to see of cannibalism. However, people in their accounts said that they did. This book follows a real life character, Mary Graves, who was at the, um, on, who was in the Donner Party. And this is the actual list of her family members who were traveling with her. And that's going to be important in a minute when I talk about some of the things that didn't work. But this is her family. And her and her family decide to go to California and they join the Donner Party. Mary Graves was a real person and the story follows pretty historically what happened. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 and it's closer to probably a 3.5. There were things that really worked for me and things that really didn't. Firstly, I loved how well researched this book was. I did research on the Donner Party afterwards um, and learned a great deal about it and this was well researched and this is one of the few books I found that focuses very much on the journey up until the snow happens. The main focus of this book is not the actual like were in the snow and it's bad. As a matter of fact, that doesn't happen until until about halfway through. So you're not even getting until the snow and everything gets really, really bad. So you have quite a bit of story ahead to build up to that happening and to see all the mistakes that were made on the way that led to this tragedy. Because it's one of those stories if you look at the history where everything just goes wrong and if one thing had gone wrong or even two things had gone wrong everything would have been fine but just multiple things go wrong and they have all these hardships even before they get caught in the snow i also learned and i didn't know this about the donner party that you know there were groups sent out early fairly early on to try to get help and mary was one on one of those and in that group and so she was one of the first people to leave the camp to try to go get help. I loved that and I love that it stuck so close to history and I learned a lot to read this book. I learned a lot reading this book. But there were a few things that didn't work for me. Firstly, I, and this is a criticism of the author's choice to follow this character for this book, not of the character and their story. Because Mary comes from such a large family, we don't really ever get close to her family members. And so when they start to die, you're sad that Mary's sad and the horror of the situation is there, but you didn't really know them. And I think especially because this book is written in verse, if I would have liked to maybe see the writer have chosen somebody with a smaller social circle or maybe focus more on one or two relationships to make it more tragic when the deaths happen because you know going in that people are going to die and that half the party dies. Like, that's just history. And I think the thing was because I didn't have a lot of time with these characters ahead of time and because there were so many... I wasn't really truly affected by their deaths. Like, it's sad they died, but it wasn't like a, 
I have a relationship with this character that died and is now getting eaten or just died in some cases. You know, I just, it wasn't as, it was hard for me to get really invested in the characters because she had such a large family. And I think maybe this story would have worked better. And again, I don't know the author's intentions. If the author's intentions were to just write about Mary, I'm not sure, and write it in verse, I'm not sure that she could have done anything different or better. But I would have liked a story similar to this with a smaller cast, like with somebody who was, had gone with the group, either a fictional character who had less people, or maybe one of the smaller families. I'm not really sure what I wanted, but it was hard for me to relate to and get invested in the characters other than Mary, because there were just too many. So I felt like the deaths didn't pack the emotional punch they were supposed to. And the main thing you were supposed to get out of this book, I think, was the horror of we're eating people. But even that, I didn't really necessarily feel. Like, I felt like it did a good job showcasing the scope of the tragedy, but not looking at the tragedy and impact of the tragedy on Mary Graves, if that makes sense. Like, I felt it was like, hey, this terrible thing happened instead of this terrible thing happened to me. And part of that, again, may be that it is told in verse. And so it's just not, maybe it, I found it harder to connect for that reason. I'm not really sure. I, I enjoyed this. And I was fascinated and I wanted to learn more, but I didn't really connect with the characters in it. Um, even Mary herself, I didn't really feel super connected to her. I didn't, I, I didn't feel as sorry for her upset when her people died. Like, and that's hard because when I found out, like, I didn't realize going in that this was a real person. So when I learned that it was a real person, I'm like, man, this person went through all these things in real life. And I don't want to say I don't care because that sounds really horrible, but the author didn't get me invested enough in this character to care about her personal tragedy, and I would have really liked to be invested because this is an important story, and I wanted so much from it. And the early parts that she did well, all of the stuff leading up to, up to like getting snowed in, I was fascinated by that. That was interesting, and that was so well done, and I would have loved to read a book that had the depth of that, but with me having more connection to the character. So, so yeah, I had mixed feelings about that. Also, I will say, I didn't love some of the verse. It's very free verse, and it doesn't always sound, in my opinion, very good. That's a personal preference. I'm not hugely into poetry, and I should add that. So I just, I didn't love the verse some of it. Some of it was really cute. Some of it was nice. It took me a while to get into, and I didn't necessarily love all the poetry, but it was okay. But again, my main complaint about this book is the cast was so big, and I couldn't connect with Mary very well, and I couldn't connect with her family because there was just so many people and so much going on. This would have been such an interesting fictional novel of great length, but for what it was, I just had a hard time. Although, again, this did then make me research other things, look at other things, be interested, so I'm glad I read it. And I love the information that was given and how much research this author put into it. Like, they put a lot of work into it, and I applaud them for that. And this seems to be very accurate from the historical stuff I'm reading, and I don't know what the author's intent was going in. But if it was a story where I was meant to connect with Mary and feel the tragedy of her loss and the horror at what happened to her, that slightly missed the mark for me. Reading this, especially being unaware that Mary Graves was an actual traveler in the Donner Party and that everything in here was historically accurate. And still, even then, I would have loved to connect with her as a character instead of a historical figure, if that makes sense. So if you if you want to read a book about the Donner Party, I can't say don't read this because it was a good starting point. It was a very interesting take. I learned a lot about the stuff leading up to the tragedy 
and I will say I read this at the beginning of the month and it has stuck with me. The Donner party journey, not necessarily Mary Gravezone story. And I have done additional research since then. So I'm not sure if I'd have just read this book at the beginning of the month and called it quits if I'd still feel the same way. But I do feel very powerfully about the story. And I do recommend it. And if you're, as a good starting point, if you're interested in the Donner party. If you have a recommendation for me on a book that <clears throat> is character driven about the Donner Party and not that that'll give me the feels more because this one was okay it was historically accurate but I didn't really get the feels like a little bit of the oh you have to eat people and that's crazy but that even that was not like maybe because of who I am I wasn't I didn't feel the full horror of that as I should have so if you have any recommendations on a book where you connect a little bit more with the characters, maybe a Donner Party book, but that is more character driven, maybe that deals with a fake family or a smaller cast, or even this character, Mary Graves, who is just, you know, more focused on the character development. I, I needed a little more character in my story, I think. So I do recommend it was good. I just wanted more out of it. So um, recommend me if you have any, if you've read anything similar to this, but that I might enjoy more. And again, that is fictional. I have done some nonfiction reading on it, but would like to read some more fictionalized, well done accounts of this. And if you read this, I would love to hear what you thought of it. If you participated in middle grade March, what was your book in verse? So um, yeah, leave me comments below, like and subscribe, and follow me on social media if you are so inclined, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks, bye.